right, zone two is up. Looks like there are no brakes there. Looks like the apple tree is starting to bloom out. The pear trees have already bloomed. They're beautiful. And over there. So Alright, zone three. Let's see. That looks good, no breaks. Alright, the other apple, this apple tree finished blooming, but it bloomed on a day when the weather dropped down to like 27 or 28, so it's it's not gonna produce anything this year. But uh are all good let's skip to zone four all right we changed it to zone four oh that's over there oh we gotta go over here look at that i had a break and i uh Looks like, looks like these are all good. Let's skip to the next zone. All right, zone five is back there. They look like they're doing very well. That apple tree is starting to bloom out. All right, these are doing great. This head sticking up so far. I need to shovel some dirt in there and make sure the lawnmower doesn't take it out. Anyway, those look good. Alright, let's get to the next. Alright, next zone is pop it up. It says fruit land. Looks like my neighbor is getting their driveway cleaned up. So do you. All right, let's see here. Fruit land. That's pretty good. And that's coming up. That's good for the trees. Alright, next is the veggie garden. So. <clears throat> Like everything else is going on, let's see any water spraying up. So, all right, so this is the dry strip. So, looks like I got a pile of wood on it.
So, one of the problems I deal with every year is the automatic watering system. Uh, I do have a, a beehive watering system for the yard. That's what I've been fixing, uh, those broken heads. Those are all repaired and the uh, 11 zones are, uh, are working fine. Um, but those don't uh, those don't take care of the gardens, the flower gardens, the trees uh, that are not in the yard. Uh, so uh, I use a system. Uh, it's called uh, Link Tap. It's a waterless timer, or I mean wireless water timer, and uh, it communicates with the uh, link by radio waves instead of Wi-Fi so uh, I can put some of these things out there uh, just out of Wi-Fi range and I still get uh, signal to them back and uh, it's a phone app 
well, I'm recording off of my phone right now, but it's a phone app that is used to uh, tell the valves when to open and when to close. And so each year when I take it apart for the winter, uh, break everything down, I uh, remove all the batteries from these uh, valves so that uh, they don't just, uh, well, they don't fail in there and, and you know, eat the terminal stuff. So I've had this system for about maybe close to four years. Maybe it has been, maybe this is five, I don't know, but uh, it's worked beautifully every year. Uh, the Linksys main information center is this small little, uh, I'll show that to you later, but it, 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 I'll show that to you later, but it, it, it works off of Wi-Fi to tell my phone or the computer or whatever uh, what's happening. But uh, these communicate by radio waves. So um, right now I'm just going to uh, open them all up and put the batteries in. Uh, one thing about the batteries, I always use the uh, lithium batteries. Uh, those batteries last the entire growing season until I have to take them out to, uh, to winterize. So it, uh, they last a long time. And, uh, I'm, I'm old, so I gotta have cheaters. are waterproof uh, inside here is a little seal right down in here it meets up with this seal um, you know I, I'm betting you couldn't submerge it for long but uh, you know they're designed to be outside and in, in the rain
This goes to my fountain and has a, uh, a little level switch. So in the winter time I drained it and got all the water out. And uh, this is the water supply. It just fills it up when I need it. And uh, of course this does all this side and all by the fountain. And even on the other side too, when we get over there you'll see. But because it has two, I have to install this. got all the sprinkler systems now turned on. All the programs are set. Tomorrow I expect to uh, hit a spot that I haven't seen in a while and I've got to find the property flag in two spots and uh, hopefully we'll be meeting uh, one of the people that might be cutting down that tree. So we'll see what happens on that. <laughs>
looks like they're doing a really good job. This was a really big tree. You can see there's quite a bit there that they've cut out. I need to cut out this next piece here. Over here. tree so that we can have access to the uh, the green space down below so I've asked them to cut right basically right here and just take out this part because uh, this other part is still alive and uh, uh, of course the cost to remove the rest of this is prohibitive so um, it sure does open this area up though I think uh, that's really going to help these fruit trees so we'll, we'll see I wish I could have that one right there taken out but I may have to do that myself feel bad but uh, got a little ch uh, chest congestion going on so sorry for the audio but uh, you know a couple of things happened uh, at the end there uh, my phone just ran out of battery and shut down so I didn't get to watch the last of the guys taking the uh, the rest of that wood to the dump uh, it's an amazing process, you know, the way they stamp that down and really pack it. But uh, the other thing is that I was going to try to uh, do a point of view uh, video where uh, I had a chest harness and I had my phone strapped on there and I turned the phone on and then I put it in that chest harness and I use the uh, John Deere to do a lot of the green space uh, cutting and a lot of the, uh, well, all of the yard, except when I looked at it when I was all done, it never turned on. So I missed all of that. So anyway, sorry about this head cold, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and, uh, you know, see you next week.